video world today. I have my friend Alicia here today and I'm going to tell you about this forage um, plant herb that we've planted and we're going to make a special tea and I'm going to show you how to make a peach cobbler. But I'm going to have Alicia, you want to say hi Alicia? Hello. I'm going to have you taste one of these purple flowers off of this plant and you can tell me what you think. They're, e they're edible, you can put them on your salad, you can put them in your tea. The leaves are for the tea. They're very, what do you think? Mmm, delicious. What is, what's it taste like? Sweet. Sweet. They're very, very sweet. If you want, I got this from Haas, and if you would like to plant some for your herb garden, um, you plant it after the frost. The planting depth is just a quarter inch, and it comes ready for harvest in about 60 days. So I know you're gonna love it. This is my little herb garden. I live in the city. I have sage and oregano and parsley, thyme, cilantro, and I have some raspberries back there. I have tomatoes and peppers, lots of good stuff and some strawberries. Puerto Rican sweet peppers. Yeah, we got Puerto Rican sweet peppers. Um, but we're going to have a nice afternoon. I just would like to share this garden with you today and some spices. We're going to go in the house now and I'm going to show you how to make a quick, cheap, easy peach cobbler. I'm glad my friend is here. Together. Okay everyone, we're back inside and I'm going to tell you how to make a, a great peach cobbler. Very affordable, very quick. You have friends coming, you'll need only just a few minutes to put things together. It's done in an hour, so if you know when your guests are coming. You get yourself a black skillet like this, and it's a southern way of cooking. You take a stick of butter, and you just plop it down into the skillet, and put it on your burner, and melt it until it gets hot. And then in a mixing bowl, you're going to take one cup of milk. Whole milk or 2% um, is good one cup of milk, one can of peaches, which is the 29 ounce size, one cup of sugar, and one cup of all purpose, not all purpose, but self-rising flour. Um, I've got some white lily here. That's what I prefer, but you can use any kind. You mix it in the bowl, you take your black skillet, and then you mix your ingredients, pour it on top of your melted, one um, stick of melted butter, give it a little bit of a stir, and a 350 oven for about 59 minutes to an hour, okay? Then you can go ahead and, and brew your cheese or whatever you have to do, then your guests have arrived, which my guest is here, which is Alicia. She's gonna do our taste test today on the cobbler. So I'm glad they came out to see me. So let's give her some of our peach cobbler. And this cobbler is absolutely wonderful. And we'll put a little bit of, you can use ice cream or a Cool Whip or anything you need, but you give it a taste test. It might be a little hot, so be careful. But I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I top mine with ground cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg. You can put whatever pie flavoring or whatever you like on yours, but I do like cinnamon and nutmeg. So you can give that a try and see what you think. Hmm. What flavors do you taste? For sure, cinnamon. Cinnamon, okay. And for sure, fishes. I love fishes. Oh, my yeah. favorite. Okay. It tastes absolutely delicious. Yes, and it's good warm. Mm. right out of the oven. Mm -hmm. um, cobbler is always best. So get yourself some um, vanilla bean ice cream. We have some um, Cool Whip here today. But um, it was so nice being with you. I'm just going to go out in the garden again and get the um, borage flowers and I'm going to have Alicia try the tea with this. We'll be back in a minute. Hi, we're back in the garden and we're going to, um, we're steeping a pot of borage tea. And I put a little bit of uh, raspberry uh, flavoring in it as well. And she, Alicia, tell us what you're doing. Yes, putting some flowers to add nice flavor to the tea. She has a tea ball there. 
she's put some flowers in, and then she puts the top on, and she can hang that from her cup, inside her cup, and it can steep. Now, of course, a little tea. is my Puerto Rican friend and she can share many um, Puerto Rican recipes with you as well and we get together and cook a lot and share it a lot through the years and eat a lot. And eat a lot. <laughs> well, let's try some of our tea. I'm just gonna float a flower right in mine. These flowers by the way are sweet as sugar. If you would eat one you would eat more. You could top them on your salad and I've made a fresh salad for later for dinner on our salad, but try um, try um, planting um, this herb. It's really good. I'm pleased with it. You pick the leaves when they're young. You can actually dry and make a, a tea right out of it. You can let it grow up like as I have done, and you can pick the uh, flowers and use them as well. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, YouTube today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.